point study tell me bro yes but already i made the host as well <clears throat> okay Hare Krishna devotees, uh, Dhanath Pranam. Welcome to Nityam Bhagavad Seva today. So today we are going to hear from His Divine Grace, Isi Bhaktivedanta Swamishra Prabhupada. The topic is, what is Guru? I'll just play the lecture. If uh, devotees can hear, please uh, respond in WhatsApp just so that I can confirm. The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Recorded on August 22nd, 1973 in London, England Om Agyana Timiranda Sagyananjana Salakaya Chakshur Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nava Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sapitam Jena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Sapadantikam Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunitananda Sri Adyaita Gadadhar Sivashadi Gaur Haptaminda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Rama Thank you very much. So, tonight's subject matter for speaking is what is Guru? So, Guru, there are many descriptions. Subject matter is the same, but different way Guru has been described by different acharyas. Their aim is the same, but Language or presentation may be little different. So, generally, Guru means Agyana Tinirandhasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chakshu Mulitam Jena Tasmai Sri Guru Vena. Just like in darkness, Agyana Tinirandhasya. Agyan means ignorance, without knowledge. That is called Agyan. So Agyan is compared, ignorance, stupidity, is compared with darkness. Just like if, you are, if this room immediately all lights are off, then it becomes dark, we cannot see where I am sitting, where others are sitting, it becomes a confusion. Similarly, in this material world, we are all in the darkness. This material world is called darkness. Uh, it is called uh, tamo. Tamo means darkness, or tinit. Timid means darkness. And actually it is darkness. Because, because this material world is dark, there is need of sunlight, there is need of moonlight, there is need of electricity. But there is another world. We get description from the Vedic literature. Najatra bhasayate surya na sasanka na pavaka. There is another world, spiritual world, where there is no darkness and therefore there is no need of sunlight, there is no need of moonlight, there is no need of electricity. So Guru's business is to bring out the disciples from darkness to light. That is Guru's business. That is Guru. First business is that because he is su everyone is suffering on account of ignorance. Uh, just like you contaminate some disease out of ignorance. 
He do not know hygienic principles. He do not know that this thing will contaminate me. This association will contaminate me. This kind of food will contaminate me. Because we do not know, therefore we contact infection, sometimes suffer from disease. It is very simple to understand. Uh, everyone, suppose one uh, commits something criminal due to ignorance. Uh, due to ignorance. But in the court, when a man is criminal, in the court if he says, the criminal, if he says that I did not know the law, he will not be excused. Ignorance is no excuse. Similarly, even a child, he does not know, he uh, catches one fire, the fire is burned. No excuse. The fire will not consider that here is a child, he does not know, excuse, no, no excuse. So as there are stringent laws of nature or laws of the state, that because you do not know something, you have committed some wrong, you will be excused, no, there is no, there is no purpose. He have committed something wrong out of ignorance, he must suffer. This is the law, nature's law. You can have many examples. Suppose you cannot eat more out of ignorance. If you eat more, then you have to fast two days, three days, something. Or you'll have some disease. He cannot violate uh, any laws of the nature or any laws of the state anywhere. Wherever there is law, if you break it, then you will suffer. This is ignorance. Therefore guru's business is every human being is suffering in this material world. Nobody can say that I am not suffering. It is not possible. There must be suffering. There are three kinds of suffering. That out of ignorance also, a rascal is suffering. He is saying that I am very happy. That is also another ignorance. There are three kinds of sufferings in this material world. Adhati, Adhibhoti, Adhidvai. Suffering on account of my own body and mind. This suffering is not uh, imposed by anyone else. I do it. The same thing. There are I can't it, but I eat more. So there must be dysentery in my soul. This is due to my body and mind. That is another one kind of suffering. Another suffering is imposed by other living entities. Just like your enemy or an animal or there are ants, mosquitoes, flies. They are all causing suffering. You are killing them and they are trying to give you suffering. This is called struggle. This is called adhi suffering given by other living entities. Suffering caused by myself. This is called adhatma. And suffering caused by other living And there are other sufferings caused by the nature, superior power, adhi then all of a sudden there is no rain, no rainfall. And now for want of rainfall there is no food grain. Uh, excessive heat, excessive uh, chilly cold, uh, earthquake, famine, uh, so many by nature, imposed by the nature, flood. So there are three kinds of sufferings in the material world and uh, Everyone is suffering either by one, two, or three of But nobody can say that I am completely free from suffering. That is not possible. And why this suffering? Due to ignorance. I do not know. Uh, I am committing sinful life. I am committing mistakes. Therefore I am suffering. Therefore Guru's business is first 
to rescue his despised and disciple from ignorance. Ignorance. Adgana Tindirandhas. Everyone is suffering out of ignorance. Therefore, Guru's business is to just like we go to school. We go to school, we send our children to school. Why? To save him from suffering, to get education. If my son does not get education, he will suffer in the future. The same process. To get him out of ignorance, to get him uh, relief from the suffering. Uh, the Guru's business is Agnana Tinirandasya Gyananjana Salata. So suffering is due to ignorance. Ignorance is compared with darkness. So in the darkness, how we can save one? By some light. Uh, so Guru's business is to take the torch light of knowledge and present before the ignorant or the disciple in darkness, and that gives him, relieves him from the suffering of darkness or ignorance. This is good. Uh, then another verse says, uh, Tatvijjana thamsa guru meva avigacchet salipani sopya brahmanistam. It is Vedic in the answer. Uh, somebody was asking, that other guru is absolutely necessary. Yes, absolutely necessary. That is the Vedic injunction. The Veda says, tadvijñānārtham. Tadvijñān means uh, spiritual knowledge. Spiritual knowledge. For acquiring spiritual knowledge, tadvijñānārtham. So, one, uh, guru eva, eva means must, Guru, man, to a guru, must go to guru, not a guru, the guru. Guru is one. Because, as it is explained by our Devadinanda Maharaj, guru is coming from the disciplic succession. What five thousand years ago, Bhas Dev instructed, or Krishna instructed, the same thing we are also instructing. Therefore, there is no difference between instruction. The word Guru is one. Although hundreds and thousands of acharyas have come and gone, but the message is one. Therefore, Guru cannot be two. Real Guru will not talk differently. Some Guru says that, in my opinion, you should like this. And some guru will say, in my opinion, he'll do this. They are not gurus. They are all askers. Uh, guru has no own opinion. Guru has got only one opinion, the same opinion which was expressed by Krishna or Vaisde or Narada or Arjuna or Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or the Goswamis. You'll find the same thing. Five thousand years ago, Lord Sri Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita and that day uh, wrote it, recorded it. That uh, day does not say that it is my opinion. That day writes, Sri Bhagavan Uvasa. What am I writing? It is spoken by the Supreme Personality of God. He is not giving his own opinion. Sri Bhagavan was. That is Guru. He is not misinterpreting the words of Krishna. He is giving as it is. Just like a bear, peon. Somebody has written you letter. The peon has got the letter. It does not mean he has to correct it or edit it or add it. No. He will present it. That is his Guru. That is Guru. He is honest. Uh, similarly, guru cannot be two. Mind that. Uh, the person may be different, but the message is the same. Therefore, guru is one. 
that Vedic instruction is Tatvigana Thamsa Guru Eva Abhigatse. Guru Eva, one must. Eva means must. Abhigatse, this verb is used when there is this sense of must. And Deva says, go to a guru, guru. But he says, must approach the guru. Guru is what? Guru cannot be true. Guru meva abhigatse. And we see also practically in the disciple's succession of guru. The same thing is spoken by the guru. Same thing. Repetition of the same subject matter. No other. Krishna said that marmana-bhava-mad-bhakta-mad-yajimāgna-maskuru just think of me, marmana, just become devotee of me, marmana-bhava-mad-bhakta, just worship me and just offer your obeisances unto me, sarva-dhanmāna-parishvaja-māme-kaṁ-sarva-nāṁ-maja, just surrender unto me. You'll find these instructions in the Bhagavad-gītā. The same thing was spoken by all the acharyas. Ramanu Charja also says the same thing. Madhya Charja says the same thing. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says the same thing. The Goswami says the same thing. And we are also speaking the same thing. There is no difference. We do not interpret the words of Krishna that in my opinion, Kuru Khetra means this body. This is a they, uh, the whole situation has been spoiled by the so-called rascal gurus who gives his own opinion. Uh, this is our plain declaration. Let any rascal guru come, we can convince him that he is not guru, because he is speaking differently. Uh, we can challenge any rascal. Uh, just like Somebody came here. He says that he is God. Every one of us, God. Stop this. So I ask, they just find out in the dictionary what is meaning of God. Let us see whether he is God. The dictionary, as soon as dictionary was consulted, the meaning of God is the supreme being meaning of God. So I ask him, are you supreme? If you cannot understand, then find out the meaning of supreme. Then when you consult a dictionary with supreme, it is say the greatest authority. So I ask him, are you the greatest authority? The rascal could not answer. <laughs> he does not know even the dictionary meaning and he is claiming that he is God. This rascal run is going on. Whole world. Big, big rascal Sami, they say, why you are finding out God anywhere? You do not see so many rascal gods are loitering in the street. This is bad. If you simply consult dictionary, you can understand what is the meaning of God. God is so cheap thing, eh? supreme being. Are you supreme being? Supreme means the highest authority. Highest authority means nobody is equal to him, nobody is greater than him. That is supreme. So these rascals who are claiming to become God, is it a fact that nobody is equal to him, nobody is greater than him? There are so many. So this kind of guru, this kind of rascal, will not help you. Guru must come from the parampara system. By this I have to five thousand years or five millions of years, what was spoken by the Supreme God or Guru, the present Guru also will say the same thing. That is Guru. That is one of five Guru. Otherwise he is not Guru. Simple definition. Guru cannot change any word of the predecessor. Oh. There is one 
instance in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's life, one uh, gentleman is uh, Balavachal. You are very much devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He wrote one comment on Srimad Bhagavat. Uh, Subodhini Tika, it is called. Uh, that is recognized, nice Tika comment. But he approached Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was very great devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> so he simply said that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Chaitanya, if you hear my comments on the Srimad Bhagavatam, you will find it is far better than Siddhar Sami. Siddhar Sami is a very old comment. Uh, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu immediately rejected. Oh, you are claiming that we have written something better than Siddhar Sami. He chastised him. Sami means another. He sarcastically remarked the word Sami. Siddhar Sami. Sami, another Sami means husband. So he said, Sami jiva nahi mane besha bale guni. I think one who does not recognize Sami, he is a prostitute. He immediately said. He did not recognize. Siddhar Sami, then you are a prostitute. How can I hear from a prostitute? Refuse. Only one, that I have written better than Shah. So this is the process of Guru. You cannot disobey the previous Acharya or Guru. No. You have to repeat the same thing. Not research. No. Sometimes rascals come that you are speaking the same thing. Why don't you speak something new by this actual? <laughs> we say that we have no intelligence. We cannot make any research. We are Guru Mare Murkha Deki Korido Bicha. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that my Guru Maharaj saw me a great fool number one. So one who remains a great fool number one before his Guru, he is Guru. And one who says that I am advanced so much that I can speak better than my guru, then he is asking. <laughs> this is the path. Evam parampara prapam mimam raja sayo vidu sakale yuga nashta parantapa Krishna said in the fourth chapter. So, guru is one. Guru cannot be two. As soon as you find Two opinions of Guru, either both of them are rascals or one is still at least rascals. There cannot be two. This is Guru. Another place, it is said, Tasmat Gurum Prabhadeta Jigyasu Sreya Uttamam Shabdi Parecha Nishnatam Brahmani Vusmasvayam. Who needs a Guru? A third class, fourth class man, ordinary man doesn't require a guru. Guru to keep a guru or to have a guru is not a fashion. One who is very serious to understand spiritual life, he requires a guru. Otherwise there is no need of guru. That's why if you keep a dog as a fashion, then don't keep a guru. Guru means is a question of necessity. One must be very serious to understand what is spiritual life, what is God, what is my relation with God, how to act. When we are very much serious on this subject matter, then we require a guru. Don't go to a guru as a matter of passion. That is useless. That is useless. Therefore, Shastra says, Tasmad Gurum Prabhadri, because you have to go to Guru and surrender there. Without surrendering, you cannot learn anything. If you want to challenge Guru, it is not possible. Hmm. Then you learn nothing. Tasmad Gurum Prabhadri, 
funny bap in law. So, just like Arjun accepted Krishna as Guru, he says, Sishas Deham Sadimang Prapannam, I am now surrendered. That is the problem. That is the pranipata in a paripusna in a sivaya. So, Kuro means Krishna's representative, former Atajas' representative. Krishna's representative, all Atajas are representative of Krishna. Therefore, Guru should be offered the same respect as you offer to God. That's Mahat Guru Prabhadeva. Therefore, Vishnā Chakravarti Thāku says, jasya prasādā ta bhagavat prasādā, because Guru is bona fide representative of Krishna, God. So if you surrender to Guru, bona fide Guru, that means you surrender to God. God is accepting your surrenderance through the Guru, jasya prasādā ta bhagavat prasādā. If you surrender to Guru, that means Krishna is here. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Sarvadan Mahan Paritajya Mahamekam Sarnamaja, surrender. That somebody argues, where is Krishna? I shall surrender. No, you surrender to his representative, then he surrendered to Krishna. This is the path. The Guru is the representative of God. Therefore, the Shastra says, the authority says, Sashad Haritena Samastra Shastrai. Guru is as good as God. Here in this vast Buddha day, we are teaching, or they are doing, offering respect to Guru. That means they are learning how to offer respect to God. It is not personal affair. It is required because they are trying to be God concept, they must learn how to offer respect to God or God's representative. That is required. Sakshadharitena samastha sastrai. In all the sastra Vedic literature, Guru is described as good as God. But Guru will never say that I am God. The disciple's duty is to offer respect to Guru as he offers respect to God. But Guru will never say that because my disciples are offering me respect as God, therefore I have become God. As soon as he thinks so, he becomes God. He is no, no more God. Therefore Vishnu Chakravati says, why Guru is offered respect like God? Kintu prabhurja priyayevata Guru is offered the same respect as he offered respect to God, just like in the morning. Uh, the other side, Arutrik was going on, offering to Krishna God, and this side, was, Arutrik was going on to offer respect to the spiritual master. Uh, the same respect. Uh, but Guru will never say, and he is not that. Guru will never say, now I have become God. No. God does not become. God is always God. So God is God and Guru is Guru. But ah, as a matter of etiquette, God is the Sebbo God, worshipable God. And Guru is the worshipper God. Just try to understand. Worshipable God and worshipper God. This is. Seva Bhagavan, Seva Bhagavan. Ah, that's a guru is that's Prabhu Pad. Prabhu means the law, and Pad means the position. One who has taken the position of the law. The same thing, Sapsad Haritan. Ah, Prabhu Pad. Ah, these are the terms one who is serious to study the science of God. They learn all these things. So one who is very serious to understand the science of God, for him a guru is required. Don't try to keep a guru as a matter of passion. 
that it has become a pattern uh, to accept somebody, some rascal as guru, and say that I have got my guru. Uh, so what kind of guru you have got? You are talking nonsense. Acharyaman uh, purusha veda, one who has accepted guru, he talks sense, but there is meaning. He will never talk any nonsense. That is a sign that he has got guru. He has got the sacred thread. Yes, he is accepted by bona fide guru. That is the sign, sacred thread. Uh, so you are offering uh, good respect to your spiritual master. That is very nice. You are very thankful. But at the same time, we should remember that how to carry out the orders of the Guru uh, so that people may not think that uh, you, you are talking nonsense. You should be very careful. So, in the Bhagavad Gita also, I am reciting, citing uh, various verses from various hastas, Kathopanishad, Simada Bhagavatam. <coughs> now, here is another verse. Krishna said, Tadviddhi pranipate na paripasne na sevaya. This is Bhagavad Gita. Tadviddhi pranipate na paripasne na sevaya. Upadekshanti tadgyanam gyanina tattvarishina. So you have to learn from Guru by three processes. What is that? First process is you must surrender. Tasmat Gurum Prabhadrita. Surrender. You have to find out such a exalted person where you can willingly surrender. Yes. <coughs> Therefore, it is uh, enjoyed in this hastra before making a guru. Try to study him, whether you can surrender there. Don't accept any guru all of his side. As fanatic. No. Don't do that. That is dangerous. And guru also must study the disciple who wants to become a disciple. Must study him, whether he is fit for becoming a disciple. This is the way of making relationship between guru and disciple. Everything is there. Provided we take them seriously, then we can be trained up how to become bona fide disciple, how to find out bona fide guru, how to establish our relationship with guru and act accordingly and make our life successful. Because guru's business is ajñāna-timirāna-śya, jñāna-ānjana-śalā. Guru's business is to enlighten the disciple. Because he is in darkness. Ah. In another place in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said that Parabhavastavad Abodha Jata, Javanna Jigyasata, Atma Tattam, Parabhava. Parabhava means defeat. Ah. Defeat. So, who is defeat? Parabhavastava abodha jata, one is born rascal and fool. Everyone is born rascal and fool. Nobody, otherwise, if you are learned, if you are, if you know things, then why do you go to school and college and pass university? It is a fact. Ah. Animals. Ah. If we do not cultivate knowledge, then we are as good as animals. Ah. Now another animal is saying that there is no need of book, and he has become guru. But it is uh, how can get knowledge without authoritative studies of books and science and philosophy? But they are trying to avoid it. So imagine what kind of guru and what kind of guitar. So Sastra says. Parabhavastava dabodhyata, 
Avodha Jata, everyone is born as skillful. He has to be enlightened. He has to be given knowledge. And he has to receive knowledge to make his life perfect. Therefore, Parabhava means one who does not make his life perfect. He is being defeated. What is the defeat? Struggle for existence. We are trying to get better life. Here also, in this life also, we are struggling hard for getting better position. So, real better position we do not know. Uh, that is described in the Bhagavad Gita. So, Amrita Kaya Kalpate. Here in, the, in this material world, there is no better position because there is death. He may possess a very good better position. Ah. But you will have to give it up. Either the better position we give, give, give up you, or ultimately you have to give up the better position. You cannot stay. Suppose you have earned millions of dollars, millions of pounds, and now you have got good bank balance. You think, now I am in the better position. Ah. A little a uh, dysentery, or uh, call it dysentery, finish, better position. Uh, or the bank fails, that better position, go. So there is no better position in this material world. It is a fall. Therefore, those who are trying to get better position in this material world, they are simply becoming defeated. Because there is no better position. He is rascal. He is thinking this is better position. What is better position? Then Bhagavad Gita says the better position is Amritatta. So Amritatta Kalpate. Ah. Don't die. Keep your position. Ah. That is better position. So is there any science to give knowledge how one becomes immortal? Yes, there is. Uh, you can become immortal, not in this material science, not in this so-called university. But there is knowledge in the Vedic scripture by which you can become immortal. That is better position. Uh, no more death, no more birth, no more old age, no more disease. So Guru's task is very uh, great responsibility. He has to guide the disciple, how to make him a uh, quite eligible candidate to get the uh, perfect position in mortality. Back to home, back to God. Thank you.
गोपी जन बल्लभ दिली बरधारी गोपी जन बल्लभ दिली बरधारी Sodhanandana Vrajajana Ranjana Sodhanandana Vrajajana Ranjana Yamuna Thira Bhanna Chadhi Yamuna Thira Jaya Radha Madhava Kunda Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunda Bihari जाय हम उस पाप परमंगल परिभाज लाचा जस्ते करे श्री समाद अति दान दशर श्री गुरुशानी को बात की जाय अंत पूरी भोषण मिलने की जाय नावाचार जस्ते रहिला साफ की जाय प्रेम से कहो सी किसने चाहिए तो न प्रभु निस्तान अन्य सी अंधे जग राधा सुबाटा रिगोल वक्त मिल गया सिसी राधा कृष्ण को गोपना साम कुंड � नवदीप धाम की जाए, गंगा माय की जाए, जमुना माय की जाए, दूधवार का धाम की जाए, सांवी तो भक्तविंद की जाए, और ग्लोरीस की जैसे मिले, और ग्लोरीस की जैसे मिले। थैंक यू वेरी मैच। हरे कृष्णा नीतीश सो इस दिवान रेसे से भक्ति वर्णन तस्वीर पर पार की जाए श्री प्रभात वेरी वेरी वंडरफुली एक्सप्लेन्ड द व्हाट इस गुरु जस्ट टू गिव फ्यू पॉइंट्स मैं भी यू ऑल डाउन नोटेड डाउन गुरु इस ब्रिंगिंग अस फ्रॉम इग्नोरेंस टू द फ्रॉम द नॉलेज और डार्कनेस फ्रॉम द यू नो लाइट and he says uh, the three kind of suffering he talks about that and he also talks about the business of a guru is to uh, you know uh, bring light or bring people from the darkness to the you know uh, light and he says guru must be there there is one one guru and uh, whoever gives my opinion he says rascal God is talks about the dictionary meaning of the God. That person doesn't know the even meaning of the God. He claims to be God. So he's, you know, says such rascal says. So. And also he talks about Guru must be in the system. He mentions about Vallabhacharya's pastime. Vajaitanya Mahaprabhu is kind of a chastising Vallabhacharya who, you know, writing comment, comment. Uh, uh, beyond uh, Shridhar. So... <clears throat> Finally, the says, <clears throat> Finally, the says, we should surrender and surrender to Krishna and his representative Guru. And Guru never claims to be his Krishna, but we as to give respect to, you know, Guru as equal to Krishna. So that is the process that Prabhupada concludes. Now, devotees can uh, share their thoughts and uh, realization, please. Can somebody unmute and check whether it's working? Please. Yes, probably can. Please share your uh, points, realization, please.
really i am really kind of amazed the way the devotees are taking this association especially those those kids really admire them you know what a fortunate children they are you know small children but uh, you know they got direct association of shila propat maybe sometime i feel that we are not doing the same thing to uh, shila propat's disciples you know that we are not the way the those devotees kind of uh, receiving propat the way they are kind of uh, serving propat maybe we are not doing to our you know, gurus or uh, shila propat disciples great question <clears throat> Yes, Prabhu. The same thing I expressed the other day <laughs> to Swayam Prakash Prabhu. Like the way they were surrendering, we are not doing that much. I don't know for what reason. Yeah. <clears throat> Other devotees want to share something. We have Gautam Gopal Prabhu, Sankarshan Prabhu. If we are okay, please share one or two points. I just came at the fair again today. Uh, sure. Joint beginning, but just in continuation with the reflecting uh, why, why we are not serious about taking it. There are devotees. I wouldn't say uh, that we are not able to see, but uh, mm. there are devotees who are dedicating their life uh, even to the disciples of uh, I mean, uh, disciples of Sri Prabhupada. Uh, it's just that we need to widen our access to see who are those devotees. But yes, definitely there are devotees who are serious about taking their association, dedicating their life, serving them. We also see from Guru Maharaj's life, Mahavaraja and so many other devotees who dedicated life. So they are examples. Uh, that, But yes, we should take a lot of inspiration. Uh, that comes from uh, hearing for, from our own group regularly. Uh, and uh, like that, you know, when we take more uh, gurus, Aran, uh, this automatically will come. Yes, Prabhu. I was more referring to myself, Prabhu. Yes. <clears throat> Anyone else uh, share something? Sunil Maladapati, Prabhu, you are always there. Uh, but never heard you speaking. Okay, so no other comments, uh, then maybe we can end with the question of Prana. Still, I will wait for uh, maybe one or two seconds. We are just eight to five now. Anybody want to share anything? Yes. Okay, so we'll end with the Krishna Pranam. Vancha Kalpatar Besa, Kripa Sindhu Vivesa, Patitana Pavane Bio Vaishnavi Bio Namunam. Ananta Koti Vaishnavrunda Ki Jai. His divine grace is Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Grantha Raj Srimad Bhagavatan Ki Jai. Samaveta Bhakti Vrunda Ki Jai. Hare Krishna, I'll end the call now. Tomorrow, same time, we'll meet on Zoom. Hare Krishna, thank you.